<laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Hi, everyone. The future. Oh, not future. <laughs> times. Upcoming times. <laughs> nice catch. That's a tricky one to catch. <laughs> this is live meditation. Everyone around the globe, on in the world, on the worlds, behind the worlds, beyond the worlds, everywhere. Uh, welcome to February 24, uh, the live meditation. Oh my goodness, I have... Oh, I should have put myself onto mute. Well, anyway, welcome to the All Shift Happily Now meditation, everyone. Uh, it's February 24th, uh, 2024. We're doing that again. Um, 2024 seems to be quite an interesting year. We've had so many signs. Um, unfortunately, Sarah Brexman Cosme is, uh, well, good for her. She's in Costa Rica, so she won't be with us, but she's sending a lot of greetings but we have another sarah sarah zula hi sarah hi everyone so happy to be back and of course we have kedrich olsen hi kedrich hey it's good to see you glad to be here thank you awesome to have you uh we have our golden ticket winners we have brad hi brad get off mute hey everyone good to see you all looking forward to it <laughs> nice good to see you too uh daniela miller with a beautiful shirt and a nice poster in the background hi daniela hello hello sending love and light to everyone and uh all shift happily now <laughs> all shift happily now that's a little <laughs> early now but yes absolutely uh and we have monica hi monica hi everyone i'm so happy to be again with you i send you all love and my happiness to you, all of oh, you. Oh, thank you so much. We take that. That's beautiful. Thanks for being with us, uh, anyone. So uh, we also have a lot of people watching us right now on YouTube. So welcome in, everyone. Uh, Katie, uh, Simon, um, and Natalie. Hi, everyone around the world. Uh, hi, and welcome to this All Shift Happily Now meditation. Uh, so beautiful to see everyone. Uh, I have a feeling that 2024 is going to be quite an interesting year. I don't know about you. I see you nodding, Kedrich. What's your impression? What do you expect from this year? This is an interesting year that the numbers add up to eight. I've always, I've always kind of followed numerology. And where seven is a spiritual kind of number, eight is everything organizing, everything falling into place. Imagine that you take that spiritual energy and you crystallize it so that it now follows into crystalline patterns. That's the eight. And that gives you that ability to move into nine, which is like a sacred divine number. So it is that organizing principle that takes our general spirituality, gives it meaning, gives it purpose, helps everything to be in perfect place and perfect order so that we can basically turn the flashlight of our spirituality into a laser beam and get a honed focus on what we're doing, where we're going, how we need to do it so that we can finally ascend into that higher state of being. Wow, I love that. Thank you for that perspective. What do you? What are your thoughts, uh, Sarah? What do you think about 2024? What do you expect? I loved Kedrick. Kedrick, I loved that. I thought that was really inspiring and beautiful and on point too for what I've been feeling as well and what I've been noticing. And just from my end and my work, what I see is just people really, really waking up. Like even clients that I have whose husbands or wives might not have been very spiritual before are just showing up so differently, are listening to different audiobooks, or just all of a sudden shifting and being interested in like some different stuff in their own unique way. So I am seeing that across the board more and more. The awakening was huge. I saw personally from 2020 to now it was big, but for some reason this year, it feels like right before this like perceived new year at the, in January, but right before that mark, a few weeks before to now, it's been ramping up more and more. That's what I've seen in my work, which is so beautiful and so inspiring and so needed. Wow, yeah, that makes it makes a lot of sense. And, and I think we all feel that. I mean, with all these messages that came through, like 2024 being a special date, everyone in the community, but also people behind the scenes that are involved with governments and, and military, 
uh, they all got a lot of messages. Dave Adair was like uh, asked by the Air Force to uh, get back into service and and uh, uh, give some strategies and hints, which is kind of interesting because he's like uh, he's he's he said like he isn't in the condition to actually get back into into service right now. But that's what what's happening. So it's an interesting interesting uh, world right now. What about you, uh, Monica, Daniela, Brett? How do you feel? What's what's in what's in for 2024? I mean, yeah, I feel something definitely big's coming. I'm, I mean, the Super Bowl for, from the UK perspective, the advert on that. I mean, that was something. I mean, that was very very strange. I mean, it had a lot in it. You know, it had the mummy in it. It had. Um, it had uh, well, so I had the Zeltas in it. I mean, it had the Zelta beings in it, which is very interesting. So, yeah, I think everyone's feeling it. And I think I agree with what Sarah said 100%. I mean, in, coming into January, it was getting more intense. I think a lot of people get messages and a lot of people are feeling it. And, I mean, the muggles are feeling it. I don't mean that, you know, the non-magic people, that they feel something's going on. They, they don't know what, but they, you know, my parents would uh, come into that. You know, they're like, they can feel something's going on. So, you know, it's a magical time. And I don't know, I'm not sure what's coming this year, but... You know, I'd like to see some sort of mad sightings, man, personally. You know, I'd, I think that would really kickstart it. And I think from the Cosmic Disclosure page that we do, we're getting a lot of people coming in just from wanting to ask questions. They didn't know nothing about the show or be to watch Gaia TV, but people are intrigued and people know something's coming. So, yeah, man, I, I agree with you. 2024 it's going to be the year. So let's have it all shift happily now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Brad. Uh, thank you so much for your opinion. It's interesting. So for everyone who doesn't know, Brad is actually involved with the uh, Cosmic Disclosure page on uh, Facebook. So you have uh, thousands of people there um, uh, really diving into the, the phenomenon of disclosure too. So uh, thanks for your service as well. Uh, we have a lot of people who commented on that as well. So uh, by the way, first of all, uh, Welcome in. I want to say hi to Tori, uh, Ellie, who made a beautiful masterpiece of music for us. Uh, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Ellie, for doing that. Um, uh, Laura is saying eight is my number, uh, numerology number. Uh, with Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Um, uh, Gro Grove of Therot. I don't know what your name is, but uh, he or she is saying, Greet, I'm viewing this year as a refining year. Um, that's pretty amazing. That's that's pretty cool. With Haley, hi Haley, good to see you again. Uh, Natalie is here. Uh, Leith is there, and Grace, and so many, many, many more. Alex, uh, hi from Barcelona. Oh, thank you so much for being uh, up at this time uh, and doing that with us. Um, uh, May is saying, "What up? <laughs> what up?" What up? Back to you. Uh, anyway, uh, we've we've had these messages coming through, uh, telling us we really have to to do our choosing and work and uh, uh, really prepare for something to happen. Two thousand twenty-four. It's kind of wild for me because sometimes numbers feel like uh, you know you you never know when something kicks in in the universe. And I do believe that very much. I don't believe in calendar dates for the universe. Uh, but uh, even people like Bashar and others uh, have, you know, talked about this year and next year to be very, very significant and profound. And so everything we can do is prepare for that, uh, claim our will and claim, um, you know, s talk to the universe uh, what we expect and what we want and then uh, receive it and trust it. So uh, that being said... Thank you so much for joining in, uh, everyone. More and more people here. Thank you so much. Hi, Jackie. Um, I would say we dive into the meditation. And after that, we can uh, have a little talk about what's uh, what's on your projects, uh, guys. And uh, maybe even talk about the, the uh, All Shift Happening Now Gaia show, which was so much fun to watch last week. Uh, I know some of you were also with us uh, back then. So that was a huge enjoyment. Uh, but that being said, uh, let's dive into a beautiful meditation and uh, get comfy. Get comfy. Uh, Tori, thank you so much for the for the super chat uh, for five euros. That's pretty cool. I, I do enjoy this feature. That's so so kind of cool. Uh, if you if you want to say something, ask something, Tori, just uh, just let us know. You have some experts here. You can ask Sarah Zula or Kedrich or me. Uh, 
if you want, you can also ask someone in the gold ticket uh, group. But that being said, uh, Ran is there. Jessica, thank you so much. Okay, everyone at home, get comfy, get in a still position, get in a meditative mood, because uh, what we're doing together now, we are increasing the mental mass field. And for everyone who wants to know what that means, it means that we are going to increase uh, the outcome and the probabilities for the outcome uh, for what we know. So get into a comfy position, close your eyes, and take some relaxing breath to get into that meditative moment and really open your third eye, which is in the middle of your, uh, your forehead, and dive into that meditative moment with so many hundreds and thousands of people with us. Uh, on this planet and very much also beyond, beyond this planet. So with each breath, realize that there are people all around this world. There are community members, beings that have been on this All Shift Happily Now journey with us for so long already. And it seems that this time of acceleration and spiritual awakening is really, really, really uh, increasing and coming closer and closer. So just make this aware in your mind. Make this aware that, and become aware that we are finally in this moment of spiritual awakening finally on this earth where things are really taking off, where it's really, really going into a different direction finally, and that all our wishes eventually will become true and tangible realities too. And then realize that you and everyone here is part of this one creator, this very first creative being that we all used to be when everything came into play. Let's go down this lineage. Let's go back into that and realize that we are still connected to that and realize that we are parts of this one being that created the air, that created the universe, that created everything that is right now tangible and experienceable. We are still this one being, this ur being, this one being that has created everything. And the more we come together as individual parts, the more we fill this puzzle. We are the puzzle pieces that fit together. And because there are billions of people on this planet who do not even claim or use and make use of their votes, everything we manifest has so much more weight because of that. Just imagine that even like two beings will manifest that have, that are in the right frequency. Even these two beings are so much stronger than 10,000s of beings that are absolutely not related. But because we are this community, because we've grown together, we've walked together, we've been on this for so for over a year now, and we've grown so much together, this means that our will is so much stronger than ever before. And it's so much more needed each one of you is so much more needed in 2024 than ever before. And why do you dive further and further into this relaxed feeling of meditation? And while you see these pictures in front of your third eye in the middle of your forehead, and while you become aware of how much more important it is that we come together, and how much more important it is that we manifest together, while that happens, connect to these other beings in the room, on the planet, on all continents, and even the beautiful beings that are outside of this reality, all the beings that are around the planet. And now I want you to really dive into manifesting and articulating inside of your mind that you are accepting their protection, that we as a group are accepting their protection because there are beings around this world and they are only waiting for us to actually say and speak 
into existence that we do accept their protection because they have technology, they have experiences, and they are capable and able to do so. But they need our free will, uh, that we use our free will and to talk into existence what we want. So really take this moment and realize that while you're doing this meditation, you are claiming that and you are expressing and bringing to their attention that we all accept their protection in these times of shifting that we accept other beings other intelligences other friendly allies to come in to help us to protect us and to really minimize the stream of distortion that might have happened if we wouldn't choose that And while we dive deeper and further into this meditative feeling, make your connection to these beings stronger and stronger, but also make your connection to this ur being, this very first creator being stronger and stronger, because it is still here. It is still us. We've never been disconnected to this universe, never been disconnected to our full powers just because we decided to get into individual parts and puzzle pieces doesn't mean it means that we are still on the very lineage of that one being and this being too loves to be in harmony and loves to be in love so that is what we feel when we feel that we really crave this love this freedom this harmony that is because in source we are this harmony we are this love and we want it to to be seen on this planet and we want to balance this energy field so by us coming together and by us meditating together we claim and intend to make this earth shift a happy earth shift and so i pass this meditation on to our shadow worker and Kedrich, please continue. And thank you. Thank you. And I want you to continue feeling that connection to those beings, to be aware of their protection, to be aware of their presence. I want you to feel that sacred energy, like a stillness. And with that stillness within you, within your mind, within your being, within that connection, feel it coming through the top of your head. Just feel that energy flowing into you through the top of your head. And I want to sing a seed sound of a rune as I do that. And just feel that stillness opening up, that silence within, opening up, allowing more of that sacred energy into you. The silence, the stillness, the connection to the sacred. Allowing that sacred energy to be within you, through you, all around you. And now bring your attention to your throat, the throat chakra there, like the ball of blue spinning. And for our shadow work, remember that you're connected to the sacred. But as you connect to your will, as you connect to your purpose, you know you feel that inner drive, that inner push, sometimes to do something, to say something, to give your voice power. But is there something stopping it? Are you not speaking as clearly as you want to? Do the words get muddled? Are you holding back on what you need to say? Or is there fear blocking your words? Whatever that is, I want you to feel that. 
Even if you need to imagine a situation where you need to speak your voice, to speak your truth, what is it that stops you? Take a moment to feel that, to breathe into that. Make it a little bit stronger. And ask that feeling how it's helping you. Is it protecting you? How it feels that it's serving you. And even be willing to ask that feeling what it is about you that it's protecting. What is it about you that it's trying to help? And bring your awareness, your attention to that revelation about yourself. That thing it's trying to protect, that thing that it's trying to help. Be aware of that. And again, connect to that sacred energy. Feel that sacred energy. And bring that sacred energy into that part of you, that awareness of you. That thing that it's trying to help. Elevate that to a higher state of being. So allow that sacred energy to shift it. And feel that sacred energy flowing into your throat now, to that throat chakra. Clearing the shadow energy out. Feel a moment of gratitude for that shadow energy helping you, for serving you. And just feel that it's like flowing out of that throat chakra. Maybe it's draining away, flowing into the earth. Maybe it's like smoke wafting away. Or maybe it's just disappearing. Leaving your throat chakra infused with that sacred energy. Being aware of that part of you that the shadow energy was protecting or helping. And as I sing the seed rune sound for the throat chakra, Connect to that sacred part of you and that new part of you that you discovered. All. Feeling it infusing and integrating into who you are. All. Being aware that this part of you can flow freely or move freely. All. feeling empowered to express your truth and to speak your voice as you need to. Because it is a divine expression of who you are authentically. And now bring your awareness to the abdomen, to the belly level, or the orange chakra. Think of this as sort of a power center generating creating what is it that you feel motivated to do what is it that drives you with that passion that passionate push and what's blocking it when you try to take an action to fulfill your passion what's stopping it is it a fear is it a sense of unworthiness is it a sense that if you do this, it might upset somebody else? Tap into that feeling, blocking your passion. Breathe into it. Make it a bit stronger. Bring your awareness into that passion blocker. Ask it too, how it's serving you, how it's helping you. And ask it, what part of it, part of your being, what part of you is it protecting? What part of you is it helping? And 
and also become familiar with that part of you. Let your awareness move into that part of you, that passionate part, that driving force part of you. And once again, reconnect to your sacred energy, bringing that sacred energy into that part of you. Enhancing, augmenting, exalting that passionate part of you. And as you do that, allow yourself gratitude for that shadow energy. That shadow energy that's helped you, that's protected you when you needed it the most. And now it's time for it to clear. And also imagine it just flowing out of that orange chakra. Maybe it's draining into the ground away from you smoke billowing away from you or even maybe one of your guides reaching in and helping pull it out so that it is no longer affecting you it is no longer blocking your passion and breathe into that orange part of you breathe into that part of you make it feel stronger more passionate connected to the sacred you were fulfilling your sacred purpose you were doing the actions needed for your sacred purpose. And as that infuses and integrates with you, I will sing the seed sound of that rune. Oh. 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 And now I'm going to combine the sounds of these three runes, Isa at the top of your head, for the stillness, the silent connection to the sacred. Anzus at your throat for communication, awareness, the freedom of your voice. Othala at the belly button, the abdomen, for awakening your passions and your driving force. And together, those three seed sounds you might be familiar with will open the sacred expression of your voice and your passion, your will, into the world. That I will pass this on to Sarah. Thank you so much. So beautiful. So you can go ahead and float your eyes close if you open them and allow yourself to just rest in this sacred energy that you've just connected to, that you've just generated. Feel so satisfied and proud of your efforts. Feel so good in the beautiful energy that you just cleared up. And become aware of the connection to the beings you made as Tim was speaking. Perhaps you felt them supporting you through your shadow work. Perhaps you feel them celebrating you. And allow yourself to let go and drop deeper and deeper, feeling your body dissolve into this sacred energy. Feeling so satisfied with your efforts and feeling the clearing continue 
with the beautiful work that you've just done. Allow yourself to let go even more, feeling any tension in your body completely dissolve as you drop deeper and deeper into a beautiful relaxed state. And begin to move your awareness to the center of your heart. Discovering the safe space in the center of your heart, surrounded by that sacred energy. And feel yourself resting in that energy. Nourishing all levels, all layers, all dimensions of your being now in this beautiful sacred energy, feel it washing over you and enjoy it. And with your awareness in your heart, connect to all the beautiful souls that are meditating together now. Feel the connection with one another. Feel how beautiful it is that we're all here together. And allow this awareness of our connection to strengthen the forces of our connection in the most beautiful, loving ways. There's no need to do anything here. Just intend to connect with the beautiful souls here, bringing our awareness and bringing our energies together from the safe space in all of our hearts. The space where we remember that we're one, we're all connected. We've never been separated. And in that remembering, let's come together and use this remembering to create something beautiful. Keeping this connection strong, the beautiful souls on this meditation now. Bring your awareness now to your third eye area in between your eyebrows, getting ready to create out from this space. Begin to send your breath and your awareness to your third eye area between your eyebrows, gently breathing in and out of this space as if this space had lungs, gently breathing in and out of this space. Feel it, connect to it. Activate it with this loving, beautiful energy. And I want everyone to focus on something personal first. Focus on something personal you'd love to see occur in your reality. This one's for you, you can go there. We'll focus on the collective after, but for now, focus on you, you deserve this. Projecting out from your third eye area, begin to build the creation of what you want to see in your reality. Focus on it. And as you focus on what you're creating, no matter how big or how small, begin to feel in every cell of your body how beautiful it will be when this occurs. How beautiful it will be. Let yourself feel it. Let yourself go there. You deserve it. Feel how beautiful it will feel. Maybe how fun it will be. Maybe just a sense of relief you will have. Whatever it is. Let yourself feel how beautiful it will feel for this to be already done in your reality. And begin to remember that you are a creator being. As you think it, as you feel it, as you know it to be true, it's already done. So allow this creation to simply dissolve away with gratitude, knowing it's already done. 
If you can tune into it, that gift of a vision of what you'd like to create is for you and it's needed in the universe or it wouldn't be a vision that you're connected to. Trust that no matter what it is. Let the vision just dissolve away and know that now you simply get to witness the magic of how it all unfolds. You get to have fun noticing the synchronicities increase. And you get to remember how fun it can be as you co-create in this realm the beautiful things that have been placed on your soul for a reason to bring into form. Trust that. And now getting ready to shift gears and focus on a collective vision together and know that as we create together, whether it's a personal manifestation or collective, our group powers, the mental mass that we are creating together amplifies everything we are doing. So breathe in and feel how beautiful that is and how special this is to do this together. Feel it. Now we'll focus on a collective vision. Bring your awareness back to your third eye area and take a deep breath into it. Activating that area. No need to try. Just let yourself, let this happen. Let yourself follow the sounds of my voice. Begin to connect in with a vision of this reality, of the world you'd love to see. Focus in on something you'd love to see occur in the collective, something beautiful, something pure, something needed. Focus on something that serves the highest good of the all. And if you can focus on one thing, you can come back to this and do it again. But for now, focus on one thing that serves the highest good of the all to occur in this reality. This could be a better treatment of animals. This could be a remembering that we are nature. It is a part of us. We are a part of her. We're connected. We've never been separate. It could be an improvement of the education system. It can be purity brought to the politics system. It can be anything, trust it, whatever your heart is saying, this is what I'd love to see. Go and create that world now, build it. Build what you'd love to see. Your vision matters. And for a moment, feel how good it feels in every cell of your body to be in the result of that vision. Perhaps imagine that you come on to one of these meditations a few months later and you're laughing because you're like, oh yeah, I created that in my mind. I didn't realize that that would actually happen that quickly. Perhaps you're laughing at the fact that this happened. Laughing with the universe at the beauty of the co-creation that you get to play in. Laughing at the fact of, oh my goodness, we are so much more powerful than we could even imagine. Remember. And go ahead and clear the screen of the vision, watching it dissolve away, feeling gratitude for it already being done and being really satisfied with your efforts. How beautiful is it to co-create together here, now?
Clear the screen and begin to bring your awareness, keeping your eyes closed, begin to bring your awareness into your body fully, feeling grounded in this moment. But before opening your eyes, I want you to really connect, really connect with the beautiful souls who are doing this with you. This connection is so important to know that you're not alone. To know that every powerful being on here is supporting you. They want to see you win. They want to see your creations come alive. You are supported and you are loved. And you're not alone here. We're in it together. And with all of us together, it's all possible. So let's create, let's do it. Let's build the beautiful world our hearts know is possible. And allow yourself to remember the forces of all the beings here, your guides, your team in spirit, in the seen and the unseen realms that love you and support you and are here with you, protecting you, holding you, guiding you. You're held here, feel it. Feeling really grounded in the body now and satisfied with your efforts today. Go ahead and send a blessing to the other beautiful souls who've chosen to be here today. Thanking them for their creations. Thanking them for the blessings they're sending. Just feeling the love between one another. Take a moment giving gratitude for Tim's guidance and him bringing this all together so consistently, sharing his heart with the world, sharing information we all are so happy to receive finally. Give a moment of gratitude, please, for Kadrick, for his consistent efforts in bringing us to the shadows in a way that is just so profound and beautiful and needed. And he does so every month with us. Thank him for this. Let it, let it be sent to him. And then take a moment and bless your own heart. Let yourself know I'm proud of you. You're doing good. Bless your heart. And getting ready to come back fully, bringing a smile to your face and breathing into that smile. And if you haven't brought a smile to your face because you think I can't see you, bring the smile to your face. It feels good. Breathe into that smile. Notice how it shifts the energy and shifts your field, brings you back to center. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes Getting ready for Tim to close us out with a group all shift happily now. Beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Beautiful indeed. Uh, yeah, and also let's take a very uh, a second to thank Sarah Zula for uh, guiding us towards this healing energies as well. And also, uh, of course, well, the golden ticket winners for being with us and the whole community. So I want you to open your hands and, and really face the palms upwards towards the sky when we do that together and feel how we as a community place our hands inside of your hands. Feel that connection and also in your mind while you're opening your palms to the skies, imagine that you are laying your palms into the hands of this community as well to make the strong even 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 more powerful and even stronger something beautiful is on its way something beautiful is happening for the all shift happily now community and if you agree with that when you agree to that and want it to want it to happen and want it with your free powerful free will to happen say it with all of us in three two one all shift thank you so much oh my goodness that is so beautiful uh everyone at home thank you so much for being with us i'm going to read some of your beautiful comments uh because i do see that 
uh, th the chat is flowing over. Uh, thank you, Sarah, Tim, and Kedrich. Gabby is saying, uh, Rachel uh, is saying thank you. Aaron saying thank you. That was so powerful. Yes, I felt it. It was super powerful, especially uh, uh, Kedrich, your part. I, I love every time when you do these uh, chantings. Can you tell us something more about what you did? So uh, this is Golder. And Golder is the traditional way of working with runes because runes are, let's say they are the subtle connections between consciousness and the universe, the world around us. And the way that we connect with that, of course, is with sound, you know, vibration, energy. Everything is energy of one form or another. Everything is vibrating. And every rune has a specific meaning, specific intention. This is where I agree with Jonathan Goldman that healing manifestation is sound plus frequency or frequency plus intention, sound and intention. And every rune is one of those things. So if we think of like the rune Fehu, it's about value. What is it that is valuable to you? How do you value yourself? What is your level of value? And when you connect to that energy, when you connect to that intention of value and you sing Fehu, you're bringing that into the world. And I like to do what I call seed sounds for like the vowel runes. Like Isa is a vowel rune. It's the E sound, the I, the letter I. Anzus, uh, it's the A sound, the A. Ah. And Othara is O sound. And so to really tap into that energy, I just go with the seed sound of that, like E, A, O. While you think, feel, experience what that rune means. And so it's just really a way of activating that runic energy in you in that divine way and expressing it in the world around you. So the world around you becomes a reflection of that runic energy within you. And Galder is a powerful way of doing that. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I love that. Uh, and I love that in these traditions are so coherent, you know, that, that you have the same uh, type of, of methods in Asian countries and even Christianity has like traces of it still uh, and, and Southern South American countries as well. So, and we have a conference coming up in October where we all be going to be live in uh, one of the spiritual uh, place, most spiritual places in Europe, the Extend Stones. So, uh, and I know you're going to guide us towards the Extend Stones, Kedrich. Are you going to going to chant some some runes for us there? Probably. Oh, that's amazing. That's that's beautiful. Uh, I feel like this place really needs that. Um, so thank you so much. A um, lot of people thanking, uh, saying Victoria is saying, which is so nice. Kedrich, your wealth of beautiful knowledge. Beautiful. Thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. Gratitude. A lot of people are saying gratitude. Sharon uh, Rana saying gratitude. Uh, Mind Miracle. So much fun, everyone. Love gathering with all of you. Uh, vice versa. Thank you so much. This community has done incredible stuff over the last month and the last year. It's absolutely amazing how we grew and uh, what we did together and achieved together. Uh, Robert is saying really great meditation. Thanks, Tim, Kedrich, and Sarah, and everyone on here. Uh, thank you, Robert, for being with us. Uh, thank you, Carol. Really nice. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see all of you very, very, very soon. Uh, Penny is saying thank you. My very first time with you. Tangible energy when Kedrich spoke. Uh, the runes. This all makes so much sense. I found you finally thanks to dear soul sister thank you all from new zealand uh thank you penny for being with us for the first time we do these meditations every 24th of 2024 uh and who knows what's happening in 2024 and 25 uh, but uh, we are prepared and i'm i'm very thankful for that uh wyatt for wellness is saying vibrant alignment i missed the meditation today trying to fix computer problems but i catch the replay i uh, hope it all went well have a wonderful day everyone yes it went very well uh, uh despite the solar flare some few days ago uh i've, I've heard some of the the, the u.s uh, phone services went down uh whatever that means and however whatever came came from that you know but yes it went very well and i know a lot of lot of you people are catching up with the replay so thank you for that 
Uh, Aaron is saying best birthday present. Thank you. Uh, happy birthday, Aaron. So cool. Um, Grace is saying energy today was so awesome. Gave me chills. Yeah, I had chills when, especially when Kadri was uh, doing these sounds. Amazing. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, so, so, so cool. Uh, Sarah, uh, you want to add something? I mean, can I ask Kadrick a question? Yeah, come on, you and Absolutely. Gold Ticket and everyone, yes. Awesome. So, Kadrick, does the letter ISA mean anything particular? Like, what does that stand for? Is there a meaning behind that? And yeah, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I wanted to give a premise for the question, too, because it's just some research I always do on my end where Mary Magdalene always called Jesus Isa in her own text. So in the gospels that were hidden for a long time, she calls him Isa. And then what I've also found is this interesting connection, maybe other people in the chat who've studied this have seen this too, but this interesting connection between Krishna and some of Jesus's teachings, especially in some of those hidden gospels of what they say is almost like word for word in some parts. And Krishna says, I am the A of the alphabet, right? So these things of like Isa and A and like all of these things are just interesting to me. And I don't know what the connection is, but I felt so called to ask you the meaning of Isa. Oh yeah, there, there's definitely some interesting connections there. Initially, Isa is where we get the word ice from. And it is the ruin of ice. It looks like the letter I, like a sans serif I, just a straight vertical line. And it means that stillness, that silence, you know, just everything that you can imagine being frozen in place. Of course, you don't want it to go too far where things are stagnant, but it can give you that stillness. And in the Havamon, which is a, a poem from the Poetic Edda, where Odin is dispensing wisdom, sharing wisdom, in stanza 80, he says, when you come to the gods to speak of the runes that were created by the Ginregan and colored by the Fimblefuller, it is best for one to be silent. So it's a way of connection to our sacredness. It's a way of connecting to the sacred mysteries and to connect to that higher level wisdom to come into us. And also you're right, there is a deep level connection. There is a, a proto-Indo-European language from which Sanskrit and Proto-Norse both stem from. And so there are some commonalities between Proto-Norse and Sanskrit that is infused into the mythos and the culture and the language of both communities. And I can't speak to the Mary Magdalene part, but yes, and there are some people who have drawn some parallels between Krishna and Christ. So there's definitely some of that. I, I don't know too much about that, though. Really interesting, really interesting. Thank you for that. I'm going to I'm going to go back and listen to that too and see what comes through. <laughs> Love these connections. Thank you. That is indeed really interesting. Uh Nectar from the community is saying in Quran, uh Quran we also say Jesus is called Isa. So that's interesting. Really interesting. Yeah, I mean, the more we dive into these ancient stories, the more we see that there are like parallels all over the place, which is really interesting. And even like in, in the cosmology of other species, we do find uh, uh, some traces of that. We've spoke, I, I've talked to Sarah about um, some of the, the Orion people. They do have their own Christ story uh, for their own planet. Um, I, I didn't quite get, you know, the whole story and I feel a little, you know, intimidated by speaking about someone's religion when you're not like fully aligned to it and know the full detail because that can, can, you know, can turn into weird uh, translations then. But I find that really interesting and we see that all over. So I'm, I'm super happy that we uh, have all of you with all these fantastic uh, wisdom and knowledge parts so that we can connect the dots. Man, I'm I'm so so thankful. Um, I want to read another comment because uh, Esther von Hover is saying, "I can't believe we have access to this meditation and to this community uh, with you as incredible guides. The shift is felt. It is all such a gift. Thank you. I'm certainly recognizing major shifts in my world. Uh, thank you, Esther, so much for being with us, uh, and all of you for being with us." Uh, because it's it's so freaking important that we do that, uh, especially in a world where it's like 
uh, designed to, to uh, you know, have these puzzle pieces not come together, but we managed to do so uh, and we keep growing and keep doing so. And that is just getting better and better and interesting, more interesting each day. And so I'm, I'm super happy about that. Uh, well, uh, the, I asked the golden ticket people because uh, now it's your time. You can have the, the last two minutes and ask some questions and give some remarks, tell some fantastic stories, uh, whatever is on your mind. Um, do we want to start with Daniela? Go ahead. When you mentioned the solar flare and uh, about the phones, actually, I make phone call every morning like around 4 30. And I couldn't make the phone call and was showing me SOS, SOS. Then I reboost the phone again and again, SOS, SOS. And I'm saying, I send so much love wherever the SOS needed. But that was, I just remember when you were talking about the phone, how, you know, the energy can talk through the phone with us then it, it, the information needs to come through. But I just want to share. And of course, Kedrich, Tim and Sarah, this is just, we are all one together. It's just beautiful. The networking with the love and light is just happening. We are shifting all together. It's just just pure magic. <laughs> it, is, it is literally magic. Thank you so much, Daniela, for that take. <laughs> really interesting i haven't like uh wrecking I, I we didn't like in europe uh nothing major happened but i know that in in the us like these phone uh phones went down and service went down i don't know Kedrich, you're the only only one except for daniela who's like in the us right so uh did you did you notice anything i didn't have any problems at all with my phone i've got oh. verizon but i didn't have any problems at all must, must be your energy <laughs> that's good i don't know it's it's interesting i've read some some articles and millions of phones actually went down when these uh, solar flares happened but you never know you never know is that like an insight project uh elon musk was tweeting this is a test uh so who knows who knows what he knows uh monica uh what about you Um, first of all, I want to thank you, Kedrish. Um, I was very touched for what you do. I don't know. I was crying all the time. You touched my heart. You touched all my chakra. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Thank you. Well, that's what, that's what I want to say. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Monica, for saying that. Uh, Brett, do you have something to say? Hi, everyone. Yeah, I'll just mimic, I suppose. That was incredible. Yeah, so it was great. Beautifully guided by all three of you. You know, Kedrick, yeah, I've got me. I resonated. Actually, I watched you on uh, Open Minds the other day on the show you just done. And, oh, man, it, it was fantastic. So I wanted to say that. I'm going to have to watch it again because... I learned so there's so much information on there which sort of really did resonate with me i live in scotland i love the stones and i love the standing stones but also like the little stones and i loved it when you were explaining um that they're like uh, ancient stones like grandparents almost and they i found that amazing man so yeah cheers guys i love the meditation and yeah i think we can all feel it's going to be a brilliant year and let's just keep manifesting this beautiful timeline together I and mean, well, thanks to everyone who everyone who meditated with us of course you know because you feel you do feel it you know i've only ever meditated in a group with you guys so you know and, it, and our meditation's big for me always has been for like three four five years every single day and the first time i meditated was in this group and it's so powerful it's beautiful it's healing and we really are affecting the reality field and the, and the collective consciousness because tim you say it man but some people just aren't prepared so you know hats off to everyone who turns up bring your energy yeah love you guys so that's me really <laughs> cheers and we love you uh cheers to that uh absolutely true uh someone asked um i think yeah diana is asking uh how do you get a golden ticket well we do some quizzes and we do do some games and puzzles and uh people who come up with the right answers um and also some individuals you know that we just want to honor um, we want to give them the opportunity to be in the first row of uh, this All Shift Happening Now meditation just to answer and ask some questions and do all this. Um, so it's it's a game element. And uh, if you want to 
Um, we're going to expand on that because ultimately we want a packed, packed video call, uh, which then probably gets us into the issue that I uh, have to greet every one of these hundreds of people then on the call. But we could figure that out, however that, that's going to go. Um, so uh, Alina is saying, I think we're in the same soul group. Uh, I I do believe that we're all in this uh, in this in the same at least same family soul family, uh, and that's just beautiful. And I know that so many millions of people have been sent here to connect and to uh, get into that. So it's absolutely amazing. Uh, Natalie Fraser is saying um, Kedrich is on Gaia. Yes, he is. Uh, Hopefully more of uh, Gaia very, very soon. Um, Ashley is sending all the love in my heart. Have a beautiful rest of the evening. And uh, I think love, music, miniatures, makeup, and cooking, that's Ellie. So uh, uh, Lisa was getting all the answers right. I think she won two in a row. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's, that's how Brett got his. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to be lucky, you know, someone else is winning and then <laughs> and you just win it. That's that's good for him. Um, and Tori is sending uh, another super sticky uh, sticker, uh, $5. Thank you so much, uh, Tori, for that. Uh, let's overcome the karmic cycles of being talked with warriors of evolution. Uh, thank you so much. That's so beautiful. Um, absolutely, absolutely true. Uh, Victory, she's posting. Victory, Victoria is posting victory. Uh, what a beautiful statement. Everyone, thank you. Thank you so much. That was so powerful. I really enjoyed this one. And it's always beautiful to connect with all of you. Um, and uh, we see you next month, March 24. Because remember, on each 24 of 2024, we come together on YouTube and we do this. And for everyone who's watching the replay right now, Thank you for sticking with us through this. And hopefully we see you live very, very soon. And next time to everyone, the golden ticket winners. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Brett. Uh, our shadow workers. Thank you, Kedrich. Uh, our healer, Sarah Zula. Thank you so much. Uh, greetings to Sarah Brexman Cosme uh, on the beautiful Costa Rica, um, wherever she's in the sun. That's beautiful. And all shift happening now to the whole community. Thank you so much and see you very soon.